So, about to go pick up my buddy Josh, and we are gonna go set a hunt. Mm, it's kind of a new area. I haven't really hit it that hard. I've picked up an old shed out of there. It was like a small six point. I mean, small six point. I still like, I like any shed. So anyways, um, <clears throat> so we're gonna go hit that area and see if we find anything, but we might hit a tall timbered area and, uh, because it's like 83 degrees out right now. It's kind of a little warm for hiking and clear cut. So anyways, hit you guys up in a little bit when we find something. So we've been hiking a little while and uh, just found this deer bed. Fucking found this nice little three point. Man, look at that. Kind of think it's this season. It's pretty white at the bottom. I like that. This is my uh, third blacktail shed. But man, it's so thick in here. I gotta see if I can find a match for this guy. Hell yeah, I like that. So, went to a different spot, trying to look for some elk sheds, and just found another one. So, gonna do the pickup here in a minute. So, see how that goes. So when I did the pickup, I totally cut myself off. Yeah, I just want to get all of it in there. Man, look at that brow time. That's fucking sweet. Look at that. That's nice. I wonder how far away his other side is. So probably another like half mile into the hike on this uh, hillside here and uh, not having any more luck, tons of deer beds. So um, who knows, maybe I'll find a deer shed, but I probably got like 30 minutes before dark. So hopefully we can find uh, another shed. I try to match up the six that I picked up, but um, it looks like he probably dropped there's the other side on the on the upper portion that I haven't hiked yet. So funny part is in my when I went deer shed hunting, like early February, when I found that match blacktail shed, I actually walked like 20 yards away from where the six point elk shed was at. So but there was snow on the ground then, so I probably wouldn't have been able to see it. But anyways, hit you guys up in a little bit. Hopefully I'll find something. Who knows? Maybe my buddy Josh found something. He's been kind of silent, but he's over here somewhere. So that shed I picked up yesterday, um, that old six point, I was looking at my, the Monster 5 that I picked up from earlier this season. And I'm pretty sure they're both from the same bull. And I will show you guys in a little bit. I'll post more pictures too. So you can kind of see them in my sunglasses right there. All right, I'll hit you guys up here in a minute. Hold on. Hey guys, so tell me what you think. To me, it looks like it's from the same bowl. It's from the same area. Probably about a quarter mile apart, maybe even a little more. But definitely, I, man, I hope I find more of his sheds. That'd be cool.
So here's that five. There's a six. So check this out. The reason why I think it's the same. From the same bowl. Just hold on, let me put it up there the right way. I mean, the brow tines are pretty similar. But the thing that I thought was interesting is see that little bump here, right there? Uh, even the five has this. Just a tiny little bump. Looks like he grew out of that. I mean, place that shed right over it. Even look at that fifth. Our, his fourth matches up with the fifth. Excuse my ugly feet. So, just about done putting those uh, videos and pictures up. Anyways, to me, I think those uh, sheds are from the same bowl. Um, for example, you know, brown the brown tine. I keep saying brown tine. Either way. <laughs> brown tine. You know, they're very close, very similar. And that little bump and the way the main beam is towards the towards the top of their antlers there like where the where the fifth and the sixth point is at they're about the same length so it's another reason why i think it's from the same bowl but anyways go ahead and comment tell me what you think um give my video likes check out my other videos so let me know hopefully i can find more uh sheds here soon and uh and post more videos. The season's kind of close to an end, but I still got tons of areas I need to hike. And anyways, so tell me what you guys think. I'll be waiting to respond back or whatever, like, comment, whatever. So, all right, talk to you guys later.